Welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I hope you are having a fantastic day wherever you're at. So one of the things that my wife and I really enjoy doing together is going to yard sales. And here where I live in Wisconsin, every town around us has different yard sale days. So every weekend throughout the summer, there's a different town that's hosting a, a town-wide or city-wide yard sale. Uh, here in my town, this was last weekend, there were almost 80 yard sales, I think, uh, that people were having. Uh, 30 miles away a couple weeks ago, there were hundreds of yard sales, a, a bigger city. And so my wife and I enjoy spending our weekends in the spring and summer uh, going to these yard sales. So whether you call it a yard sale, a garage sale, a tag sale, a thrift sale, it's all the same thing. And so as we go from sale to sale, I'm always looking for philatelic material. And to be quite honest, I rarely find any. But this year, I hit the jackpot. And so I want to show you a few things that I found while my wife and I were out yard selling recently. And you're going to see a theme. It's all the same type of material. Uh, but boy, am I really excited uh, that I stumbled across these finds. So one of the first yard sales that we were at, I saw this stack of postcards. This is a really thick stack of postcards. I haven't counted to see how many there are, but there are quite a few and to be honest, I didn't even look to see what they were. I saw there was pictures on them. I saw there were postcards and I saw the price, 50 cents uh, for this big stack of postcards. So I scooped them up, said, yes, I have to have those, uh, paid the person and brought them home. And it wasn't until several days later that I actually discovered what these are. So these are postcards that feature the artwork a famous German artist, Albert Dürer. Now, if you're familiar with Dürer's work, you know that he was a remarkable artist. And uh, to be quite honest, he's one of my favorites um, right next to Van Gogh. So each of these cards is duplicates. So I picked out uh, some of my favorites and I thought I would show you those right now. So I'm just going to go through and show you just a few of my favorites uh, from this stack of postcards. And like I said, a great thing about this stack is there are two of each kind of postcard. So if there are ones I really like, I can keep those from my collection. Plus, I can send a few uh, on for post crossing and swaps and uh, things of that nature. I really, really like this postcard. I think it's a great image. Here's one of uh, a couple of the apostles that I really like. And so I think these postcards are great. And uh, like I said, I bought them not even knowing what they were. And then to find out that uh, they were indeed the artwork of one of my favorite artists, that just made it uh, all the better for me and uh, was really excited to get these. And these have, a, uh, these have a really vintage feel to them. So I know a lot of people like vintage postcards. So that'll be great uh, when I'm sending them out uh, through post crossing and uh, swaps and, and things like that. Now we're getting into some that I really like. Get into animals. And I really like these. Uh, I love this one of, uh, of the squirrel. Uh, I am uh, so fortunate that where I live, uh, we have lots of squirrels. Uh, I have squirrels that frequently visit uh, my backyard. There's a couple of squirrels that are out there all the time. I have named them Fred and Mrs. Fred. I don't know why. Uh, they just look like Fred and Mrs. Fred to me. Uh, so I spent a lot of time looking at them. Uh, this is a, a very popular uh, image and one of my favorites of the hair. 
And so yeah, those are just a few of the postcards in this great stack of postcards. And, and like I said, very happy uh, to find those. And now I'll be able to put those to use and, and send them out uh, into the world. Uh, next was this little bag. And this is all the same card, uh, but it was 25 cents. And so, as you can see, it's cows. Now, it is a little smaller uh, than a regular postcard. You can see the difference here. But, uh, but I really like them. Uh, Wisconsin is a dairy state. There are lots of dairy farms, uh, lots of cows in the area that I live. And so I thought these would be great uh, to send out into the world. And then I came across uh, these two Ziploc bags, uh, both of them filled with postcards and the same type of postcards. I believe I paid a dollar uh, piece for each of these bags, which is not bad at all. There's I don't know, 10, 15 cards uh, in each one. And they're all the same card. And they are shark teeth uh, that have been found uh, in Florida. So great cards. Um, I know lots of people like marine life, lots of people like fossils. Uh, they like sharks. And so this will be a great card. Um, Renee, uh, who has her own channel here on YouTube, um, Renee, you will uh, you'll be receiving one of these cards. Uh, I immediately thought of you as a as a marine biologist. I think uh, I think this is an appropriate card uh, to send to you. And now, lastly, uh, we were at a sale that was uh, inside of a inside of a church, and uh, it's the same sale that I attended uh, two years ago, where I found. Uh, some Scott catalog books. So I was eager to get back to this sale. And uh, once again, it did not disappoint. I purchased this book. And I think this was, I think I paid a dollar uh, for this book of uh, postcards. Uh, but it's titled uh, Pump and Circumstance. I really like to play on words there. But it is 30 gas station postcards. So it's a really interesting book. And it is... Uh, it's full of, uh, of postcards that feature old gas stations. And so I thought uh, these were really nice postcards. Once again, they have the vintage feel. Uh, I really like this one. It has the Pepsi and Coke machine. Uh, this is a good one. Uh, has a, an old gas pump. But yeah, these are just really nice postcards. A lot of people are into transportation and to automobiles, uh, to vintage things. And uh, I really love these postcards. I, I love each and every one of them. Uh, and so I am excited that I'm going to be able to send these um, off into the world hopefully really, really soon. So that's it. Just a few things that, uh, that I found while my wife and I were out yard selling. You never know what you're going to find out there. Uh, I know that sometimes our hobby, uh, post crossing as well as stamp collecting, uh, sometimes it can, it can take a bit of money, uh, especially with postal rates increasing. So it's always nice to, to find a bargain. And, uh, so for just a few dollars, I have postcards that I'm going to be able to send to lots of people around the world. And I'm very thrilled about that. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for watching uh, this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, uh, please hit the thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Uh, I ask that you would please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that very, very much. And let me know, what's the most interesting philatelic item uh, that you found at a yard sale? Uh, I'd really be interested in knowing that. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.